hi hello welcome again to my channel believers uh, dear brethren all over the world welcome to the teaching class the discipleship uh, warfare prayer classes i hope you learn something from here today i pray god to give you wisdom revelation knowledge in his word in the name of jesus and to even just to yeah, understand the little things that i'm explaining in this uh, prayer lesson i was explaining in the previous video which is part one in this uh, classes of uh, discipleship warfare and prayer classes that um, about uh, prayer how prayer is important to the believer other religions and pray but not in the name of jesus but we as believers and faith in jesus we pray in the name of jesus and um, I was also explaining how um, prayer is a communication between uh, God and man. It is the key. We, we have to have faith. All the ap um, apostles and the prophets in the old, they prayed also to God. And uh, I also explained about different kind of prayers, that we have different kind and different types of prayers. I explained the different types or the 10 types of prayer that uh, I make my own note when i was studying and um, my quiet time with the lord uh, he told me about the prayer of faith and prayer of jabez or different uh, prophets in the past like david prayed uh, and Nehemiah prayed and uh, daniel prayed abraham prayed so many of these people prayed we just call it like individual prayers and we have the prayer of supplication where you pray for your own needs that you need to, for god to meet your needs and the prayer of intercession when you are praying and interceding for somebody else the warfare prayer where you pray to stand to resist the devil putting on the whole armor of god as is uh, ephesians 6 10 to 18. Uh, repentance prayer like in the book of daniel 9 you can see how daniel pray for repentance of the whole israel and there is a prayer of agreement when you have an issue and uh, you have trouble you stand with somebody in prayer to for god says that he will hear you that is a promise in that prayer uh, in that scripture uh, matthew uh, 18 19 and it also we have the prayer of thanksgiving the new the letters of paul there is a lot of prayer of thanksgiving even in the whole bible there's a lot of thanksgiving prayer especially in the book of psalms you see so many prayer of thanksgiving there where you are thanking god for this and for that and that so so many prayer of thanksgiving and we also i talk about the prayer of the spirit praying in your spirit groaning in your spirit you know that is praying in tongues building up your faith the book of Jude uh, 20 says that. And then the Lord's Prayer, which is a simple prayer. Well, most people use that also. Who does not know how to pray? At least they know the Lord's Prayer. When uh, when the, the disciples asked Jesus and say, um, teach us how to pray. And then the Lord Jesus Christ taught them this prayer. So I'm talking today. Um, this uh, is the part two of uh, the uh, video. This video, which is talking about discipleship. Uh, discipleship of uh, warfare uh, students who want to learn about warfare or learn about prayer so this is the part two of these classes and i just did the introduction uh, in the previous video if you have not watched it just go and watch it i have other classes also that i'm teaching it's called the disciple student class which I'm teaching about salvation and about the gospel of peace. And this is for all the new believers and the Muslims and all other people all over the world, my Muslim friends all over the world. God bless you all. Who always ask me questions because I'm a missionary. They always ask me, why do Jesus Christ have to come and die for us for our sins? So I always have to give them explanation. That is the whole thing started in the Garden of Eden. So if you have not watched all those videos, you can go back and watch them. And in the name of Jesus, you will be blessed and you will learn new things from it. Because the Holy Spirit is the one teaching these classes and giving explanations slowly, bit by bit. And for you to get understanding. I pray God give you understanding in Jesus' name. I'm also talking today, um, uh, this uh, part two of this um, disciples to uh, prayer classes i'm talking about today the different type of prayer and the first one i wanted to explain is the prayer of faith 
in the book of james 5 talk about the prayer of faith and most of all the prophets and all the apostles they do pray in faith everyone have to pray in faith because the bible says the just shall live by faith we everything we do we have faith in jesus christ it's not by our works you cannot do any works because we cannot achieve joy peace blessing miracles healing through our works of the law we can only receive a true faith that we have in jesus christ is finished work on calvary cross that is where we can receive receive our blessings and all the promises that God gave through Jesus Christ's uh, sacrifice on the cross of Calvary that he became sin for us so that we should become now the righteousness of God in him and if we believe that finished work on the cross of Calvary then we can receive salvation we can receive healing deliverance uh, everything our prayers will be answered God will protect us he will be our defense because we are his righteousness now in the name of Jesus Christ so all the prayer, the apostles and the prophets of old, they prayed. Elijah prayed and uh, for fire to come down and consume all his enemies. And uh, even Elijah also prayed that there should be no rain for three years. The book of James explained that. And there was no rain. Jehoshaphat prayed also for God to help them. Jonah prayed in the fish of the belly. All was by faith. All these people of God have faith in God that when they pray, their prayer will be answered. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, also prayed to the Father for the church. In the book of uh, John 17, he was praying for the church, for the uh, believers, for those who have believed in God and believe in Him, and also the new ones who will come. He was praying for the church. And... Um, before he went to the cross jesus himself also prayed he was also praying he bent down kneel down and pray there are different kind of position people take to pray some people walk stand up and pray some people take lift up their hands to pray some people cover their head and kneel down like jesus christ i do the same way i cover my head kneel down and pray different people do how do do it in different way but god still answer them if you do it by faith God still answer everyone how it doesn't matter which position that you take that you like to take. Sometimes you can even sit in your car and pray any any kind of way you want to pray. But all is only by faith and only in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus promised that if you pray and ask anything in his name, he will answer. He will answer you. So Jesus Christ, before he went to the cross, he also prayed. So we must all have faith that when we pray, we must have faith in God, that God has heard us and answered our prayer. Jesus Christ in the Lazarus tomb in uh, John 11 said, that, Father, thank you because I know that you have heard me. So we have to always thank God and say, we thank you that you have heard us and that you will answer us. And when we stand praying in faith, we should forgive. The book of Mark 11 says that we should forgive. Mark 11 um if you read from 23 downward you say if you you have faith have faith in god because if you say to this mountain be removed and be cast into the sea and you have no doubt in your heart it shall be done whatsoever you said so asking if you say and you ask and all that you decree you all the, that is prayer there are different types of prayer there's a prayer that you you only prayer of thanksgiving there's a prayer that is a prayer that you decree a prayer that you declare there's a prayer that you rebuke there's different types of different prayer i'll be explaining those prayers step by step and i hope god give you wisdom and revelation and uh, understanding in all this in the name of jesus christ that you'll be able to pray and you will believe that god answers you immediately because god hesitates his word to perform it when he gets his word he performs it immediately he's not a son of man that should lie he is always correct and right so i uh, i hope you enjoyed this little class um and you will continue in the classes just leave your comments down below subscribe and uh, if you are a student in this class and god bless you for listening and learning from the from the holy spirit himself in the name of jesus christ because god uses human vessels like us to to preach his word and to give the truth and the truth will make you free thank you for watching and god bless you i see you in the next video thanks bye